Hi everyone, welcome to my next gen AI guy YouTube channel. My name is Sam. Today I will try to explain you what is RAG and how to build a RAG with the knowledge graph. We will see that what is knowledge graph and how it is different from the vector DB. Why should we choose this knowledge graph? So let's begin. First we will learn that what exactly is knowledge graph. Each and every terminology which is used in the knowledge graph, I will try to explain you. So, knowledge graph just is a database. Basic idea of the knowledge graph is to store the data into a nodes and edges, where nodes represent entities and edges represent relationship between it. In simple terms, if I want to explain you, uh, imagine that two persons are there. One is Sam and other one is Harry both are entities the relationship between those persons is a friends sam and harry both are friends so notes will be the name of those person and the edges will be the relationship between notes now we will see the real world applications we can build with the help of knowledge graph we can build search engines we can build a recommendation system where we will recommend something to someone based on the data. Enabling advanced data analytics is also possible with the graph database. Supporting artificial intelligence and machine learning models. We can also build machine learning models with the help of graph database. Main thing in the graph database is a cipher query line. What is exactly is a cipher? Uh, in simple terms like SQL is to relation database same cipher is to graph database cipher makes it easy to describe the patterns in graphs and perform operation like searching updating and managing data uh, cipher is a declarative query language designed specifically for querying graph database it allows you to perform complex query on a graph structure using simple or intuitive syntax here is the example of cipher query language we are trying to match all the person who is a friend of alice and then returning the name of those friends of alice now we will see what is the neo4j in this project we have utilized the neo4j graph database it's an open source highly scalable and easy to maintain we can use it with the help of langchain or llama index framework but in this project, I have used a lang chain to connect with the Neo4j. It's easy to connect and easy to store the data into Neo4j graph database. We will see how to do it with the help of Python code. Before jumping to the code part, now I wanted to explain or show you how to create instance in a Neo4j graph database. Open your browser and write neo4j.com and you will get this web page after that you can click on the get start for free then again start for free it will open one new tab for you then click on a new instance and you will get two options one is a free the other one is professional click on a create free instance this is going to be your password if you want to copy then you can copy or then click on download and continue then you can save it wherever you want to it will take two or three minutes to create an instance as you can see the instance is created now so now let's open the downloaded file which we have downloaded when we were creating the instance so that's how it will look like you can copy it from here and paste it into a .env file VS code and I will explain the whole code from beginning here we have a four files first is .env file where we will store the all credentials and the second one is data ingestion graph where we are loading the data and doing the setting after that we were storing into a, a graph database which is neo4j and next one is a QA main after that we are building a question and answer on the graph database so what it will do whatever your question will ask it will retrieve from graph database and the last one is a requirement.txt file where we have stored all the dependency which is required in this project 
so let's start first with the data ingestion in this project we have utilized the lang chain we can also do with the llama index as well as in future videos i will try to include the llama index also what is the lang chain lang chain is a framework which allows us to build ai based application here we have utilized the lang chain azure chat open ai model uh, we are using chat gpt 3.5 turbo model from azure because it's secure from safety point of view your data will be secured over there so let me explain you all the packages over here first is the lang chain we are importing azure chat open ai from lang chain the azure chat open ai class from lang chain allows us to interact with open ai gpt models deployed on azure and next we are import llm graph transformer from lang chain experiment dot graph transformer the llm graph transformer class leverage the language model to transport text into a graph documents identifying nodes and relationship with the help of llm next we are importing document from lang chain underscore core dot documents the reason we are importing document because i have used a simple text that text i will going to format into a document the document package will allows us to format text into a document format next we are importing a character text splitter from langchain dot text splitter the text we are using over here that text will be split into a manageable chunks with the help of character text splitter next we are using neo forging graph which allows us to make a connection with our instance and then we will store our data into a new 4 graph database other one is a simple operating system and the load.env file allows us to load all the credential from this .env file and here i have imported the lm deployment name and azure endpoint from .env file after that we have initiated our large language model and then we are connecting with this neo4j graph database which we have imported over here here we are giving this text which we wanted to store into neo4j graph database so after that we are formatting this text into this document format and next we are using text splitter which allows us to split the whole text into a manageable chunk by the chunk size we have put 200 and chunk overlap is 20 in case if you wanted to extract the data from pdf files doc files such scenarios you can use document loader package from the lang chain after that we are splitting the text into manageable chunks here we have initiated llm transformer as i have told you llm grass transformer utilize large language model to convert the text into a cipher query language after that we are converting this text into a graph with the help of convert to graph document function from lm graph transform and here we are printing the nodes with the help of graph documents zeroth index dot nodes same way we can print the edges also with the help of this dot relationship and finally we are adding this graph documents into a graph database which is our neo4j this is the simple way to preprocess your text and store into a neo4j graph database now we will move to the question and answering part. here we are building a question and answering on that neo4j graph database in this also we are utilizing azure chat open ai and the graph cipher qa chain graph cipher qa chain is a tool that lets you create cipher queries for the neo graph database based on user question enabling you to fetch the needed information and the next one is a neo 4j graph and the same as it is we are importing this credential from env file after that we have initiated large language model over here after that we have initiated this chain with the help of graph cipher qa chain where we have utilized this large language model graph next we just invoke this chain and we have provided a query over there does james work for the same company as emily i have built this project with the conda environment and the python version which i have used in this project is 3.11 so first we will going to see that how to create a conda environment and uh, how to activate it we, can, we will type over here 
conda create hyphen n and my environment name which is ai.env and then I will describe the python version which is 3.11 as I have already created ai.env so I won't going to run this code so I will directly activate this ai.env which you can do it with the help of conda activate ai.env for that we will going to install the requirement.txt file so we will just type it pp install hyphen r requirement.txt which will going to install the, all the dependency which is mentioned in the requirement.txt file so as we can see over here that we done python data underscore ingestion underscore graph.py file it gives output as a nodes and relationships here we can see the text is about emily and the james works in the technova company same thing we are able to observe over the node name and its relationship between the other nodes so now we will run the qa underscore main.py file uh, where we will see that we will run the query where does emily work so after running this python qa underscore main.py file we will able to fetch out the data so we got the result over here our query was where does emily work and we got the result as emily work at technova company so lm model with the help of graph cipher qa chain it generated the cipher query and fetch out the data from the graph database now we will write the another question does emily work in same company as as james now we will run it again and we will see the result okay here is our query does emily work in the same company as james the final result come come out yes emily works in the same company as james so that's how we build rag application on the graph database now we will see that how to build rag on a csv data so for that i will going to create two new file one name is uh, csv data underscore ingestion underscore csv dot py and other one file will be qa underscore csv dot py so i have already written this code main part over here is this cipher query which allows us to convert our csv file in nodes and relationship which you can generate with the help of chat gpt also so over here this cipher query is designed to load movie data from a csv file into a neo4j graph database the csv file is located at a specified url and contains detail about movies directors actors and genders so this cipher query is allows us to convert the csv files into a nodes and relationship or we can say nodes and edges this cipher query extract the particular nodes and edges from csv data set the with headers close indicates that the first row of the csv file contains the column headers this query construct a graph structure with movie person and genre nodes and stabilize relationship between them based on the csv data directors and actors are linked to the movies and movies are categorized into a genres creating a rich interconnected data set within the neo4j graph database so after that you just need to run this data underscore ingestion dot underscore csv dot py file which will going to store this into a database and then we will run the qa underscore csv dot py file and we can ask as much as question and it will going to fetch out the relative data from that database so that's how we can build the whole code link is given in the description let me explain you about neo4j now we will click on the open button and here we have to paste the password which we have downloaded our file so just copy and paste this the password over here and then click on the connect button
so we are able to see over here that we have three nodes and two relationships between those nodes so here we are able to see that james work at technova those two are the nodes james and technova is, are the nodes and emily is also a node and the relationship between james and technova and emily and technova is works at these are the relationships so here we are able to visualize our data so that's the best way okay so that is the way to build with the help of blank chain or llama index you can do that but i will going to show you one more and best way to load documents images and unstructured data not only that we can load from youtube wikipedia or s3 bucket as well as so so application name is llm graph builder we will see how to use this llm graph builder and how to upload and how to connect the new graph based data with the llm graph builder which is open source go to your web browser and type llm graph builder you can click on the link which is given in the description and you will get this user interface so on the left side we are able to see that we are getting several option to load our documents here we are able to load the documents images on structure text and here we can load from youtube wikipedia s3 bucket and gcs so first i will going to show you how to connect your neo4j database you need to click on this connect dot neo4j and over here you have to paste the url which we have downloaded during creating instance in a neo4j database so paste url over here and then paste the password after that click on the connect pasting url and password just click on this connect button and this will allows us to connect our neo4j database now if you wanted to do that like we have several option deep board gpt 3.5 gpt 4o and gemini 1.0 Pro. one thing i have noticed over here that we don't need to provide the api keys to use this ai model so just click on any model you want and browse choose any document like any pdf files or document file you can choose from here and then after that you can uh, choose the ai model then you can click on this generate graph preview graph explore with the bloom these are the function which we can do and we can also ask the questions like uh, whatever data you have uploaded over here the data's question ask from here or you, if you wanted to build you just wanted to use this lm graph builder for just uploading the data that's also good and you can create a qa bot on in this uploaded data with the help of blank chain as i have shown you in the code so that's also possible so that's all from my side today we have learned that how to build a rag with the knowledge graph we also have learned that how to load our csv file or text data and convert as well as store into a neo4j graph database we also explored the how to use lm graph builder thank you for watching my video i hope you learned something new today please like and subscribe for more such videos